Microbiologists and pathologists for long have been on the search for microbes that might be responsible for cancer. Many have reported on various bacteria and viruses associated with carcinoma cervix. In the present study, we report findings on cancer tissue using interference contrast microscopy. Our research began with my looking on blood from chronically diseased individuals 12 years ago. During that time, I could identify that the blood was contaminated by microbes, not described in the ordinary medical books. Eventually, I extended my studies to work with more solid tissues. One such example is tissue from carcinoma of the breast, which I expressed manually. The tissue was taken to the PET lab where it was identified as adenocarcinoma. However, interference microscopy of the same tissue showed large numbers of highly motile disc-shaped granules, similar to those found in the blood. Studies on carcinoma cervix has also revealed the same kind of organisms. Fresh cervical tissue obtained by biopsy from patients suffering from carcinoma cervix was placed on a glass slide. A cover slip was placed on the slide and the specimen teased by pressing with another glass slide. The mounted specimen was studied using a Light's Dialux interference contrast microscope at 1200 times magnification. The microscope was fitted with a Panasonic video camera. Observations were recorded on a JVC UMATIC video recording system on a real time basis. Large number of highly motile disc-shaped granules of different sizes were observed. These granules were also found embedded in a cheese-like substance. Those embedded were non-motile. In early cancers, these granules were relatively smaller in size and the number of granules more, as compared to that of more advanced cancers. The moment of the granules were definitely not similar to Brownian moment, but similar to that seen in, in most bacteria. The granules appear to have no cell wall and are very resistant to various uh, substances like anti antibiotics, cytostatics and cytotoxic drugs. They have been found to survive even after the specimen was exposed to microwave in a domestic microwave appliance for 30 minutes. A comparison is made with Streptococcus and the observed organism to show similarity in movements. Note the extreme variation in size in the organism observed from the tissues of carcinoma cervix. In tissues obtained from advanced cancers, the granules were seen to be of enormous size and fewer in number compared to that of early cancer. It was also interesting to see mycelial-like growth in the tissues. Various organisms from viruses and onwards have been implied in cancer. Cancer of the cervix is no exception. However, the presence of organisms described here 
have not been reported so far. Cell wall deficient bacteria, L forms and polymorphic forms of microorganisms have been sparsely reported in literature and go unreported mostly because of their being considered as contaminants or as bacteria in early stages of formation. These forms are resistant to most known antibiotics, difficult to culture and pose a problem in therapy. The present reported organisms, although exhibit similar characters as L forms or cell wall deficient forms, appear in such large numbers that it is difficult to ignore. Interference contrast microscopy, therefore, appears to be a useful procedure not often done. It is also essential to recognize and further study the biochemical and ultrastructural characteristics of these organisms reported in our paper. Clinically, it becomes essential to find ways of dealing with these forms. It also becomes essential to find biological means rather than chemical means to cope with these organisms in particular and the whole human organism and the milieu in which we live.